difference is that in the second film, we're not talking about mining or extraction. We're talking about the exploitation of the oceans. And I love the ocean. I love what it means to us, uh, kind of symbolically, even subconsciously. You know, I think we all know that the, that the ocean is kind of our mother. It's where life came from. It's what moderates life on this planet, makes life possible for us. Um, and I think we also all know, uh, even if we try to tune it out, that the oceans are in trouble, that a lot of species are endangered, a lot of uh, whale species, a lot of dolphins are being killed as part of you know, great fishing fleets and, and so on, and that we have to do better and we have to try harder. But that, that said, I think the film is an adventure first, first and foremost. It's a family story, first and foremost. It's a drama. It's an emotional story. Uh, it's not a film that beats you over the head with its message, but I think it does make you feel. I think it makes you feel more than it makes you necessarily think about it in terms of what exact, it doesn't tell you what to do. It just asks you to feel something for, for the oceans. Personally, I would do anything for my family um, and for my sons. And so I think, you know, to me, the movie was about, the first film had Jake opening his eyes to uh, a new culture, a new planet, and a new love. And to me, I, I found it, it was a simple story of a man trying to protect all that. So he was trying to protect the culture, protect the way that he had learned. Um, as with any James Cameron movie, he, you know, Jim deals with outsiders who are always up against an insurmountable challenge and find a way through that, through love. Um, you know, Rose and Jack on Titanic, they survive that through their love. Um, Sigourney's character in Aliens through the love of Newt. Um, so, to me, I kind of, that's what I hung on. So even when the, the story got challenging to do and, and difficult, and uh, that, was always, that was always a through line for me. Yes, it, it does present its challenges, you know, you, there's a lot of training and preparation that took place. Uh, but once again, um, we were surrounded with world-renowned free divers. Uh, we took our time learning to do this because it wasn't just about capturing emotion it was it was definitely about capturing the emotion of what our characters were going through so there was never this expectation that we needed to be the best swimmers it was just about getting us to to feel as comfortable as possible so that we can just devote our time and energy underwater to to whatever moment our characters were, were experiencing. Pose for the center. And right.